Hello there fellow summoners, Mad Dog HT here, and we are going back into another Alliance War. This is Alliance War number 8 of season 26, and we're going up against the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, L-O-X-C, for section 1. I'm going to be going up path 2. They put a Dark Hawk here, and, you know, Strike Counter Fury and Power Struggle, you know, you, you are generally wanting to knock, the da knock them down so you can reset your... Um, strike counters but with thing this is like perfect matchup don't need to throw any specials and just uh, go to town on him and when you get a power bar just ignore it don't don't try to knock this dude down that way you don't have to enable his mode where he can auto block you and with the armor that he has um, it reduces his the damage that you can um, put out against him pretty significantly so we're just going to just play it out a little bit slow block a lot build up those um, rock stacks and furies on my end let him build up as many of those furies on his end you can see that protection is getting triggered every time that he touches me that it's not active and i'm gonna be at 20 rock stacks so pretty much one one hp per per hit which is absolutely nothing so um so yeah we're just gonna bait out his special ones and and just smash him down so with other champions you know you probably do want to make sure that you don't let those furies get out of hand and if you do that you will have to knock them down but with thing not necessary so there we go, we get the Dark Hawk down, and we're gonna move up to the next fight, which is another thing. I've been seeing him a lot this season on this node, and my thing counters him quite well. He's got Strike Counter Fury, Brute Force, and Power Focus 1. I do like the fact that, you know, very, very little amount of hits are required to get this guy to get him up to a special one. So even if you do kind of get out of rhythm, where your rock stacks on him get pushed you know not to 15 it's it's not too bad to get him to one bar power plus 15 rock stacks so here you can see he's just not throwing i should have i should have parried and um triggered the protection a little bit earlier there we we do sneak in those last rock stacks to get him to 15 he finally throws it and then i think from here on out it's just pretty much five hit combos, parry, and keep smashing him. You can see that he just threw that special, but a full five hit combo gets him back to special one. So not a big deal. And we're, yeah, we're just going to keep smashing away, building up um, some of our rock stacks where possible. As long as he's not throwing it right away, we can get a parry off, trigger the protection, and get some of those passive furies. And we're just going to smash this dude out. Don't throw any specials. You want to keep as many rock stacks on you as possible because if you uh, throw a special, you're going to have no rock stacks. The protection is going to is not going to be in full effect. So here he's he's being a little bit stingy again, and we sneak in another two hits. We just need this guy to throw some specials, and he's just not having it. There we go, we trigger protection again. We hit him again. And now he's at 14 rock stacks. So boom, we hit him. We're gonna hit him again, down to 12, 13. Hopefully he doesn't throw it into the corner until, here we go, boom, there's 15. And then we're just gonna dex this out in the corner. I'm pretty comfortable with generally dexing his heavy and his L1 in the corner. Um, but even if I would have gotten hit, it it probably would have been just fine because I had I had uh, I would have had protection enabled and um, a decent amount of rock stacks to protect me for some damage. So we did take some brute force damage there, but not that big of a deal. And we take out that thing on the strike counter fury brute force our focus one node. That was node 14. And now we're going up on 20. I do see Hit Monkey here a lot. I think these last two or three wars, it's been Thing and Hit Monkey like all the time. So I do um, put in another, I put in a health potion just to kind of top me off because I got one more fight after this. 
I don't think it's I'm gonna lose much health on this one but kind of the same method redline it let those fury stack up on hit monkey not don't knock him down um, we don't want him going into his mode where he can evade and shrug off debuffs and then I'm just going to push him to his L1s and try to evade those block some if needed and just get that protection going build up those rock stacks build up the passive furies I feel like I'm talking like a broken record because I, I do take this quite a bit with thing um, but he just works really well um, I know there's some quicker options but I feel like thing is super 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 safe and it's simple you don't have to do anything special just just do some combos some parries don't throw specials so yeah so this this hit monkey it does have armor on this node so it does it's going to take a, a little more hits than maybe you would think but typically i find that i am taking pretty much any rank three champ out in about a hundred hits which is is a lot but again it's it's pretty simple and straightforward and then just depending on what special attack that you feel more most comfortable um, evading um, that's the one that i um, will just kind of bait them out and push them to so for here it's just a special one over and over and over again and you know if you at the end you can pretty much smash out a big l3 if you want or just kind of just keep going with the flow and smash them out with just combos and but the one thing that you do want to do is if you do throw a special three to to kill him off you better make dang well sure that it's going to kill him because you know like right now he's got 70 of those passive furies and if you didn't kill him basically if you would get touched with the zero stacks because all the rock stacks would get consumed um, you pretty much die instantly so just keep that in mind and then next up we have a storm pyramid x here and i think i faced her once on this node don't see her a lot um we're gonna go in i um throw on yeah i was checking out my boost we're, 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 we got some green boost on it's gonna help me just to keep cycling some l2s for some big damage for her you know Storm Pyramid X and Cosmic Ghost Rider, they have the a similar um, cadence for evading the special one. I'm generally pretty comfortable uh, evading them. I think I do end up getting clipped once, maybe, maybe even twice on this. Um, but I do have protection enabled and yeah, we're just gonna keep pushing her to her special one and baiting that out. You know, with Thing, he's immune to nullify, so the power snack on this node is is not a thing, so I don't have to worry about that. The, pretty much the only thing on this node that I do need to worry about is the uh, backup recovery. So I do get hit there, but you can see like the damage that I'm taking is pretty minimal, 111, and that was after the protection um, uh, fell off. So not not too terrible, not ideal to get clipped, but I think I think I do get clipped one more time trying to dance around getting her to throw a special one. So here she's at 52%. We get the dexes off and I think I'm going to just tap her over. There we go. We trigger the backup recovery. I do have max petrify so the stun will reduce power gain by 30% while she's stunned and the backup recovery didn't do a whole bunch and didn't get her to special two which is what I wanted and what I was planning for and so here we I think I'm just waiting for a good opportunity to I think get a parry I think I'm gonna try to get a parry off here and then special three no I think I'll push her back to one more special one make sure she has very very little power and I think this is where I get clipped, dancing around trying to get her to throw. Um, I think I get all the way backed up into the corner if I remember right. There we go. Yeah, I do get clipped right there. So we trigger protection. So then I fire off a special three. 
and she's stunned and I think I do go in right after because I'm fully unstoppable and unblockable or do I kill her off here? I might even kill her off. No, not quite, not quite. Go in, yeah, go in, smash her to the ground, boom. So we take out the storm. So that was all of section one and I waited till the very, very, very end for finishing off section two had everybody boosted and here we go they're like hey hey rob it's ready to go down or the boss is ready i'm like yeah it's about to go down so we go in every everything else is cleared i'm just finishing up gonna finish my line boosted and you know we need this we need this war win bad because we've had some close we've had some really tough wars we were five and four on the season or five and three on the season and yeah so we definitely definitely need some wars um, to be won here and it was pretty close so I'm boosting up big I need to get my guillotine 2099 charged for the boss which is an apocalypse and this Colossus fight is just perfect for doing that very simple very easy nothing to worry about I just need to make sure that I get to special three and you know I this guy has suicides on so I'm not gonna throw any specials because if I would have thrown a special two, there's there'd be like no hardly any good chance to get back to a special three. So I also do need to be very very conscious of where his health is at. You know he's getting quite a big chunk um, taken off every tick from that poison. And here we go. So we get him down to 17%, and I'm like, okay, if I throw that back off, let him throw the special, 10%, boom, 3%, very close. So I had to be really, I had to be careful with that, but luckily it worked out. Suicide's helping me out to get to that 5% and under range. We get the kill, and with the L3, which is going to carry over the combo. And then next up, we have a Hulk Buster. And I was considering um, using my guillotine here would have made it pretty quick and simple, but um, I just wanted to make sure my, uh, my guillotine was health and so I just throw one health potion into thing which to be honest was one too many um, I didn't heal him up all the way this this fight isn't isn't bad at all um, I just need to make sure that I don't hit into the blocks I think pretty much while I'm fighting this I'm just repeating to myself don't hit into the block don't hit into the block because it's got that explosive personality I don't want to hit him into the block um, enough to where um, his armors will build up and, and detonate and it's only it's only the armors that um, get built up by hitting into his block that will actually cause explosive personality to detonate so I don't have to worry about his regular armors there we do throw a big special too it does trigger protection but the knockdown because thing is a XL champ it will immediately uh, purify that and take that off and yeah we're just gonna keep smashing this guy away thing is shock immune he is armor break immune so I can't get any debuffs on me from him um, I guess his special two he can heal block me right but I'm not gonna get hit by that throw off another big special two protection enabled and disabled immediately and yeah, we're just gonna keep smashing keep baiting those special ones don't hit into the block and yeah it's a pretty simple and straightforward fight and then when he gets into his 15% range you know trying to push him over and then back up so I can get a quick parry to turn off the processing so that there is no chance for extra regen which just makes the fight a little bit longer which is not what you want to have happen and yeah so he's, he's playing pretty nice we're gonna throw off a big special three while he is stunned and I should be fully unblockable and unstoppable coming out of this. And I think I go straight up to him and start smashing because I had him stunned. Yep. And boom, now he's over 15%. And back up, boom, parry. So he had a little bit of regen, but it was probably just like one tick, not a big deal. And I think we finished him off with a special one. Boom. And Hulk Buster goes down. And now for the main event. Um, didn't have a ton of fights this war, but you know, filled, filled my role. I guess I had 
I guess I had seven. Seven's a decent, a decent number. I didn't even use, end up using Torch. Um, he was mainly, mainly there for synergies, for thing. And we're gonna go up on the, the boss. We're gonna be boosted up. I had that expiring um, uh, power start one boost. I got Mystic boost, the 200% Mystic boost on. Um, I'm not putting on like the eight or the 12% because I don't want uh, protection to be enabled and basically we're just gonna hit him with special twos and try to push him to special twos as well so there I'm cutting my combo short and blocking hard and then a full combo special two pushes him over to his special two and you know I'm I'm really comfortable fully dexing this guy's special two now but for war I'm not gonna take any risk I'm just gonna block it guillotine's armor up is plenty to deal with that without having to, to to deal much damage and be that much of a concern so yeah we're just block baiting his heavies and trying to get to another special two on our side and to get him to a special two we're going to wait on this one simply because the more combo that we have when we throw the more damage that we're going to do so i think we're going to bait out one more heavy yep and then we're going to launch a special Two before we get to special three so that helped us get a little bit more damage than had we thrown it a little bit earlier and we get some power back not a ton but we get a we get a, a uh, an okay amount um, was the 200% boost needed eh, probably not but you know any little bit that can help um, I'll, I'll do just because the loyalty for those boosts not a big deal so here we go for an, um, an, an intercept and then a special two before we get to special three. Pushes him over to his special two again. And we're just going to block this out. And I think we end up at around 100 hits, which is going to be 200. And yeah, we take out the rank three apocalypse. Yeah, 199. Boom. No problem. Didn't get to the regen phase none of that and you know good job to LOXC they, they it was it was a good and a, a close war but we did end up um, taking the victory on this um, our battle group ended up tying four to four and yeah so we won which is what we needed to um, get this back half of the season going and yeah so now we're five and three on the season so for this war, I had seven fights, seven kills, no deaths, 64 fights on the season total, 63 kills, one death, which was the Apocalypse boss in that first first war right. I didn't boost up because we had such a big war going, um, a big win, and and I regret that. I was being a little bit too cocky, but yeah, we moved up nine spots. We're in Platinum 1, number 15, and you know, season's going pretty well. As long as we can get some wins towards this uh, back half, we should be fine with securing Platinum 1, which is always our goal. But yeah, thanks for watching, fellas. Um, hope you enjoyed, and hopefully some of the fights were a helpful reference to you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.